Quite a few YouTubers have made Wolverine claws, but in the comics and movies, Wolverine's claws deploy when he's feeling like it. So today, I'm going to train a deep learning model to recognise when I'm going ah, or ah, or I. And I'm going to use that to activate my Wolverine claws. This project isn't sponsored, but if you'd like to support me through Patreon or YouTube channel membership, then those links are in the description below. Patrons and YouTube channel members can get access to the videos up to a week early and also sneak peeks and pictures of what's coming up and be part of that discussion. Right, first of all, we've got to build a mechanism to deploy the claws. Parts assembled to make this, but before we look at that, thanks to 3D Fuel for sending the filament for this project and other projects. So check out 3dfuel.com and check out the other projects in my channel. The main mechanism is this thing that sits on my arm, and that's got a couple of braces so I can put some elastic through for a handhold and a brace to go on my upper arm. There's a slider here which slides up and down, and that's sprung to one end with this bungee, which again goes all the way back under so we can get maximum stretch, and that locks into place at one end with this servo. And then when the servo releases it, of course it shoots out. So we just need to mount some claws on there. And my claws are these plastic ones I got off Amazon. These have got individual claws and a thing that you hold here so that you can be Wolverine. So I'm probably just going to fix the whole thing on that mechanism rather than chopping the individual claws off. There we go. So all we need to do now is train a deep learning model that works out when I'm going... Ah! Or... Ah! Or... I. But how is it going to determine what I'm doing? So I've made this curious looking thing, which is a Jetson Nano mounted on a 3D printed plate with some straps we'll look at in a minute. And there's an arm sticking out the front with a camera on plugged into the CSI camera port. This is a Raspberry Pi version 2 camera, which is supported by the Jetson Nano. Yep, it's attached to me. So the camera's out the front here so you can see my face and the Jetson Nano is mounted on my chest. And what we're going to do is collect a lot of training data of both my face relaxed and looking around normally on different backgrounds in different lighting. And also me going ah, or ah, or anything else like that so they can tell the difference. And what we're going to do here is transfer learning to retrain an existing neural network that's already really good at recognizing images so that it can recognize just my face going Aye. or my face being relaxed and it knows the difference. In order to train the model I'm going to need to see the screen and operate a keyboard and mouse. I've got this portable screen I made a while ago which has got a battery, a 12 volt battery to power the screen and a 5 volt regulator to power the Jetson Nano and a power plug and the Jetson Nano was originally fitted to that side but now I've taken it off of course. Now we've got an extension lead for the power though that I can plug into that that gives me a long lead to power my Nano. Eventually it'll be powered from a battery in my pocket, but for training, we're just gonna use this setup. I previously built a tracked robot and used transfer learning to make it detect three markers. And those markers are really high contrast, a circular square and a triangle on a white background and I programmed it to go around looking for one after the other, and that was really reliable. I trained it on about 70 images, but obviously these are really easy to recognize. And what we're doing today is just something that recognizes my facial expression, even though the two expressions are quite different. So I'm not sure how many images we're gonna need. We're probably gonna do about 100 images and see how that goes, and try and do them on lots of different backgrounds and so on. NVIDIA have provided quite a lot of useful tools and scripts, including the camera capture utility that allows you to freeze the frame from your video camera and go and outline what you want the image to be and how you want it to be detected. So I've only got two classes here to categorize the image, hot dog or no hot dog. And I've obviously done two sets of expressions with my head in different places, including the Wolverine expression to go and train the model. I ended up with about 100 images, I think there are 104 in total. I tried to do them in different rooms in my house, but I quickly realised that pretty much the camera is pointing at the ceiling, so the backgrounds look really similar in all the pictures anyway. So I did as many different expressions as I could that were in those categories, and then we can kick off and train the model using the train SSD script. And I'm retraining the SSD mobile net network here, which runs really well on embedded systems. 
That took about 20 minutes in total, and then we're ready to give the model a test. I've got the camera mounted on me again here and the Jetson Nano, and you can see the video feed just over here from the Jetson Nano doing DetectNet, but using that new model to detect my face. And at the moment you can see, not hot dog, because my face is doing a normal expression wherever I point it, but as soon as I do Wolverine to the camera, Arrgh! it should detect hot dog, which means we can trigger the Wolverine claws from it. Arrgh! 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 So that seems to be working pretty reliably with a 98% confidence rating, so all that remains is to write some Python script running on the Jetson Nano that can go and trigger those servos. On the back of my Wolverine claws I've got a little board with an Arduino Pro Mini and that's going to control the servo. The whole thing's powered off 7.4 volts because the servos need at least 6 volts, so it's powered off a 2 cell LiPo but we've got a 5 volt regulator to power the Pro Mini. I've got 3 wires on a connector here, 2 for power that go to the battery and 1 is the trigger pin and if I take that trigger pin to ground we should see the servo triggers to release the spring. And that's all it does pretty much. If you reset the Arduino, then it goes and stays there for three seconds to allow you to pull the mechanism back. And then it locks it down again. And if I go and trigger that trigger pin again, then the claws release. The Jetson Nano is a 3.3 volt device and the Arduinos I've used the 5 volts. So I've implemented a level matcher here on a little bit of proto board linked to the GPIO pins, the 5 volt and 3.3 volt bus, and that's going to match the logic level from 3.3 to 5 volts to trigger those servos. A bit more wiring and we've got those signal pins going out to each claw with the connection on the other end so I can unplug them, and the power here for a 7.4 volt LiPo to power those servos and the Arduinos. Now the Jetson Nano needs 5 volts, so I'm going to use one of these 5 volt regulators, but unfortunately that's got a minimum input of 12, so I'm going to need another LiPo to power that. Well, I think it was Colin first who coined the phrase the hacky X-Men, and this is definitely one of them, so let's see if it works now I've got everything on. Ah! Yep, seems to work pretty well. Ah! 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 Well, I'm pretty happy of how well that works. It works pretty reliably. I'm not sure if it's the future of cosplay, because it is quite hacky, but there is, of course, a serious side in terms of interfaces and robot human perception, so that robots can interface with society. And there's lots of other projects in my channel and some new ones coming up with intelligent machines that can map and navigate their environment and use deep learning and machine vision to see what they're doing. There's also a bit of a legacy in my channel of superhero stuff, including some of my older Iron Man suit builds. And I'm gonna be doing some more projects like this, hopefully something with a brain interface and I'm planning to make a Dr. Octopus tentacle that I can move just by thinking. So don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you liked it. You can also support me through Patreon and YouTube channel membership, and those links are in the description into the video. I do publish everything that I do as open source pretty much. You can find the files for this on GitHub, as well as the Python code that runs on the Jetson Nano to trigger it. Now you will need to train your own model, of course, because it only works with my face, but it's quite a useful bit of code to basically get the deep learning stuff to trigger some hardware, depending on what category of an object it sees. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and that's all for now.